Hello, this is Mauricio Ortiz, and I'm going to be presenting my research paper on how diet affects our microbiota, or how diet affects the way microbes react. So after the importance that microbes play in the development of antibiotics and vaccines, it could be argued that the next most important relationship that microbes have with humans is that relationship in which food is involved. As we have learned, microbes are everywhere, on the palms of our hands, on our nails, on our hair, in our mouth, on our tables, simply everywhere. But nowhere are they in such a direct contact with us humans as in our guts. As a matter of fact, our guts are homes to more than 100 trillion bacteria, most of them living in symbiosis with us. These microbes that live in our guts are part of generations of evolution that goes hand in hand with eating habits, affected also by ma many aspects such as geographical location, socioeconomic status, education, and more. These microbes are essential in the absorption of nutrients, specifically when we eat fruits and vegetables. A fiber-rich diet is essential in order to keep our gut's microbes in symbiosis with our bodies. A low-fiber diet affects how microbes behave with organs of our body. It creates microbe migration affecting our digestive system's functioning, and ultimately affects the gut's microbe diversity. A low fiber diet affects how microbes behave with organs of our body. A study made by the University of Michigan showed that when gut bacteria don't eat enough fiber, this bacteria can start eating the lining of our colon. The study was made on mice and showed that the gut bacteria would start chewing on the natural mucus that lines the gut, breaking it up enough for dangerous bacteria to be able to cause infections in our colon's walls. This was observed by measuring the thickness of the mucu mucus layers in the mice. Also, according to Harvard University, high fiber diets affect the type and amount of microbiota living in the intestines. This was tested the same way, collecting samples of gut microbiota and comparing the samples. A low fiber diet can also create microbe migration affecting our digestive system's functioning. A report published by the National Library of Medicine states that individuals consuming diets low in fiber tend to have reduced microbial diversity. The same report shows that microbiota from individuals in countries where high fiber intake is customary of the daily diet is much more diverse than microbiota from individuals in first world countries where fiber intake tends to be lower. Lower long-term weight gain is associated with high fiber intake. That's a very important thing to know. It's fair to dedicate some mention to the good bacteria that lives within us. This good bacteria is called beneficial flora and recent marketing tendency, tendencies tend to exploit the need to enhance this beneficial flora in our bodies. One type of beneficial flora is Lactobacillus acidophilus, or the lactobacteria. Lactobacilli is a bacterial ge genus within lactic acid bacteria, which are LABs. An important fact about um, LAB is that they were among the first living organisms on the earth, as they appeared about three billion years ago in the transition period from anaerobiosis to aerobiosis. 
Another type of beneficial flora is uh, Bifidobacterium bifidum or the Bifidobacteria. These bacteria are probiotic, part of the many marketing strategies as beneficial bacteria for humans. Especially in pro probiotics are found in yogurt. Uh, since we have dedicated a mention to a couple of microbes that live within our gods, it, it is also fair to mention the microbes that process our foods or drinks. And I think the best way to describe the microbes that we use in food processing is by creating a healthy meal out of microbes. <laughs> yes, microbes. So Saccharomyces here, you can see it on the left, is a fermenting yeast. Uh, typically used in the fermentation process of wine, beer, and bread. Uh, so now we have our first ingredient in our meal, which is uh, bread. Then uh, there, in the middle there, you can see lactobacillus, which is a microbe that we discussed earlier, as it is a microbe that lives in our guts as well. This microbe is typically used to make yogurt from milk. So now we have a cup of yogurt as part of our healthy microbe meal. And then uh, the third here on the right is a lactococcus, which is a microbe used to process cheese from yogurt. We have, um, and then we have, there we have our ingredient to put on the bread and make a grilled cheese sandwich with a cup of yogurt. And that is our microbe meal. Um, some people would eat that meal with a cup of wine, but I like beer myself. So uh, beer is also made out of um, out of Saccharomyces. So uh, cheers for that beer that I would have after that meal. Uh, so in summary, uh, we still have not researched enough into all of the effects of diet over our microbiota and hence the the all the health effects of changes in our microbiota are not known yet. However, initial studies show that a low fiber diet can create health problems. Um, microbes co-live with us and the more we learn from them, the better the convivence can be. For now, we have already learned to live with microbes like the ones in preserved food through practices that have been in place for thousands of years. I think uh, Egyptians used to um, have some sort of a food preservation either by fermenting or using salt, I think. Um, so uh, as a concluding remark, uh, many experts recommend high fiber diets to prevent constipation and to stimulate bowel movement as healthy practices. However, knowing, knowing what microbes do to our insides when we don't eat enough fiber, um, then we'll prob knowing that we'll probably start eating more grains, fruits, and vegetables. Um, because although we have an uncountable number of microbes living in and on us, our bodies search for different ways to create symbiosis with all these microbes. However, we must also help our bodies um, by maintaining healthy balance practices. Um, a good fiber diet is one of those healthy balance practices because as you have seen, not eating in not eating high fiber diets can produce n numerous problems to our health. I want to give a special thanks to all the microbiologists who have traced the path for future ones to discover a world behind microbes. And this is my bibliography. Thank you very much for watching my research paper.